let's continue the last video and implement animation on the welcome page to implement animation we have to first extend our welcome page class with the ticker provider because i am using two animation controller on this class that's why i am extending the class with the ticker provider state maxine if i were using a single animation controller then i have to extend the class with only the single ticker provider state maxine the second stage is to declare the animation controller with help of animation controller we will control the animation and the third stage is to declare a variable for the animation we will also provide a generic type like color or offset or shape over here we are animating our position that's why i provided a generic as a offset if you don't know about the offset offset is a 2d point on your screen like x y point of your screen so after declaring this two we have to initialize it first to initialize i will use the init state init state is similar like component did mount of react if you don't know about the react i will cover the react topic in the next series after the blog app will develop successfully so stay tuned and subscribe this channel so while welcome page will call from the main dot dot file at that time only the animation controller and the animation will automatically initialize and the uh, in initializing the animation controller we have to provide two parameter called duration and the vsync vsync parameter will always this and the for the duration of the animation we have to provide the second or the millisecond value of the duration then for the initializing of animation type we will use twin twin is like a in between i mean with help of twin we can define the beginning and the ending point of the animation also we can provide a curve animation with help of twin let me code it first then we will provide the curve property also on the twin so i will define the begin point of the offset and the end point of offset after it i have to call the animate method over here inside the animate method i will provide a curve animation class with help of that class we will implement a non linear animation property on our welcome page in the parent we have to provide the controller and the curve we have to provide the curve type i will put a link that where you can find the different curve type available all in the flutter after initializing it let's call the controller so i can call the controller as a forward or a backward now our initialization process is complete let me dispose the controller in the dispose method because if we do not dispose it then it will consume the other resources and your app may be hang i will apply it on the first on a dev stack text after that we will apply all the animation on the different widget i will use slight changes and widget to implement a animation over there inside a slight transition there is another parameter called position and we will assign this position our animation class control save then you will get a error message on the screen because the init method is not yet called for the call the init state we have to again restart the app let me restart it then now you can see that our dev stack text is animated let me first set the offset of the begin to different position because i have to start the animation of dev stack from the different position then we will apply the same animation on the second text widget 
I will create another animation controller and animation variable for the button and the last text. To do that, I just have to copy the code of these two variable. Then I have to change the name, call controller two and animation two. Then we have to initialize these two variable on the init state. I will change the duration of the second animation because at the same time we can not start both animation to see the changes we had to start both animation at a different time then we have to change the controller on the animation property after the initialization again we had to call the controller then we have to dispose it and hit the save let's call the slide transition widget on the bottom text also we have to call the slide transition widget on the button also let me call it first Then if we save the whole code, then we can restart our app, then we will see the changes. We can change the curve property of the board the animation. I will put a link where you can find a different curve property and according to your need, you can change the curve. So let me do the experiment. Some curve property let me fix the curve type and you can change the curve type according to your need now our animation is implemented now it's time to change the font. Let's go on a browser where I have a package called Google Fonts. With help of that package, we can use different fonts available on the Google. In the meanwhile, please subscribe my channel because I am a new YouTuber. Your subscriber will support me and motivate me to upload video very fast. Let's install the Google font package on our app. To do that, we have to copy the dependency code and paste it on the pubspec.yaml file. Hit the save and flutter pubgate will run. Then we have to import it, this package in our main dot dot file. Let me import it first. Then if you see that I am getting an error. Maybe the flutter pubgate will not run right. Hit save again and it will run. Now the error is solved. If you go on a browser in the pubgate readme file, then you will see that different kind of example are already there. I will use the text team example. Let me copy this example and paste it on the main dot dot file. I had to change the lotto theme to the open sans theme because for our app I will use open sans as a font style. If you want to change the font style according to your need, feel free to change it. Now if you save then you will see that we are getting an error because we had to restart I mean we had to first stop the app then restart it from the scratch again then only it will take reflect. I am pausing the video till the restart my app. Now app is restarted and if you see that the phone style is now changed so the our 
task is now completed i mean we implemented the animation and the font style is also changed so in the next video what i will do that i will implement a sign up page for this app in the coming video i will also integrate a gmail and facebook api to sign in or sign up with this app but you have to stay tuned and subscribe this channel to know about that so thank you and happy coding let's meet on the next video